Awesome. So how to do linear regression with Harviat. So I'm going to start with what is regression. So linear regression is a predictive analysis that allows us to look at, predict the future by looking at historical events. So I'm going to use an example such as Amazon. Uh, they can use linear regression on their products. They can see at which times of the year they need to resupply their inventory for certain products. So let's say during uh, the last five years in uh, December and January, they've run out of shovels and uh, winter coats. So they can use linear regression to forecast for the next few years how many coats they should buy in order to uh, make sure that demand is thought through. So. We also have an example with uh, analyzing risk in insurance companies. You can do that for hail seasons. Uh, we all know there are a certain time of the year where it does hail. So insurance companies can use linear regression to forecast how many claims they're going to be receiving during a certain amount of time of year. So something to know about linear regression, as I am going to do a tutorial just on a very simple data set, uh, is that any, if you are going to try this at home on your own data, just make sure that the data is valid. And what I mean by that is it, do, uh, it does need to follow the four assumptions of linear regression. And these four assumptions are, um, one of these are really hard, so just give me a second. It's linear, linearity, homostasticity, independent, and normality. So. That is way beyond the scope of this tutorial, but I will put a resource at the end of this, this demonstration if you wanted to look further into that. So basically what I mean by linear, I'll show you here in the demo file. I feel like you cannot see this though in my Teams. Give me one sec. Perfect, so I have the demo file here. I did, we, what I'm showing here is a scatter plot of a sample data set that I got from Kaggle. You can find lots of different public data sets there that you can try this out on. And it's showing the relationship between salary and years of experience for a fictional company. So what this data set immediately or what this graph is telling me immediately is the higher number of experience years of experience you spend at that company, the higher your salary should be, how it should be at most companies. And linear regression is putting a statistical model to this data. And it, as you can see, I have put a trend line in the scatter plot. And you can see how the data points kind of hug the trend line. So that tells me that it has a linear relationship and that we can apply this equation of the line, the y equals mx plus b, on this data set. So I'm just going to go back to the blog here. And so basically the purpose of this tutorial is I want to find out if an employee has 15 years of experience or 20 years or maybe 30 years. So the steps we need to do to make that happen is we're going to make some calculated columns and measures. We're going to create a what if parameter for our X values, and then we're going to create a measure of the equation of a line and visualize that. So like I said, uh, there is data sets on Kaggle that you can use. And I will also be providing the data set that I use for this tutorial in case you wanted to try this out tonight or on your own data set. So we're gonna jump in to step one here. So like I was saying before, why is how far up are we are up on our Y axis? And X is how far along we are on our X axis. So an M in this formula is slope, and B is B intercept. So right now looking at this page, it's pretty daunting, these math formulas. And I totally get that. What I did is divided and conquered. So first I made uh, the calculated columns that represented X squared and XY. Then I made measures, which were the sum of those parts. And then I just put them all together. So really my M slope and my B intercept are just a bunch of measures uh, put together to make those. This might be a little bit far off from people who um, are not super comfortable with Power BI, 
in the demo file that I am going to give you, it is going to show you, uh, it is going to have like already the measures in there. I'm just going to show you quick here. See, I have my calculated columns and I have measures in here as well. So you can always copy paste this into your own, uh, into your own Power BI desktop or uh, you can use this. Awesome. So we're going to go back to our dashboard. So once we've completed that, we're going to go into our step two. So now we're going to create a what if parameter. So remember at the beginning when I said I wanted to know 15 years, 20 years, and 30 years. So I want to know what if it's 15 years, what if it's 20 years. And I want an interactive slicer that's going to represent those X values. So really I can know whatever salary point for whatever X value that I put input in there. So I'm just gonna show you quickly how to do that in, uh, in the demo file. We're gonna go into our modeling ribbon, press new parameter. I'm gonna name this guy our X values, which is also our years of experience. I'm gonna make this maximum to 30 because I want to know up to 30, um, what the salary is. And I'm going to make sure that I definitely add the slicer to this page because this is going to help me with uh, visualizing this. I'm going to press OK. Awesome. So it has added a slicer to my dashboard. And as I move this tog, it's going to represent my X value in this box. Awesome. So we're going to go into our third and final step. We're going to complete the measure for the equation of a line. So like I said at the beginning, the uh, trend line is y equals mx plus b. We made our measures for m, we made our measure for b, and for x, we made our what if parameter. So now if put all of this together, we should get any y value that we want, or any y value for every x value that we put in. Awesome, so I'm gonna walk you through this last part in the demo. demo. We're gonna insert a card rule just like that. And then we're going to add to the fields our new predicted salary, uh, which just looks like that. Perfect. Awesome. So as you can see, this is equal. You can move the toggle along. I can see for 17 years of experience for this fictional company, their predicted salary is over $186,000. 30 years of experience. This sounds like a very nice company to work for. So with this tool, it's pretty cool. Uh, you can make some pretty cool, awesome visualizations. Uh, for this graph, we added the slicer to the graph, made a trend line, and made the trend line finish at the selected value in the slicer. So for 18 years, 13 years, 15 years, and then it shows our uh, value just there at the top. Uh, so just a quick review. Uh, so linear regression, predictive analysis helps you predict the future. Uh, first of all, you're going to make your calculated columns for your y equals mx plus b. Then you're going to make your measures. You're going to make your measures out of your measures. Then you're going to make a what if parameter. Um, insert the slicer into your dashboard. Complete the measure for the equation of the line. Insert a card visual. You're going to test the calculation, and then you're going to make some super cool visualizations. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So um, thanks so much.